mind at this time, if you would, go and clear your desk of everything except for a clean sheet of paper, a pencil, and a calculator. A clean sheet of paper, pencil, and calculator. Make sure pencils have enough lead. If they're mechanical, uh, make sure you've got a good eraser on there. If you're using a, lead, a regular lead pencil, make sure you've got a couple of them maybe, so that way you uh, won't uh, be unable to complete the test. All right, calculator's good to go. Just double check something real quick on each one. Make sure they're all in the proper mode. Yeah, taking the memories out. You took your own memory out, good. And I think I saw yours just a second ago. Uh, good, all right. All right, well, we are ready to get started. Let's go ahead and pray, and I'll pass out the test. Lord, I pray that you would help my students now as they take this test to do the very best, to remember the things that they've learned, the things that they've studied. Um, Lord, help them not to make careless mistakes, uh, but work carefully and accurately. Pray this would be their very best work. I pray it be an accurate reflection of how hard they've worked and how well they've understood the trigonometry that I've taught them so far. Bless and help them, I pray in Jesus' name. All right, when you get your test, if you would put your first and last name in the name spot and today's date in the date spot. First and last name in the name spot and today's date in the date spot. It's one page. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Pre-Calculus, where the tests are shorter. Later on this year, you will take a 10-question test. That, that's, that's coming. Is it really long? Yeah, it's, it's four pages uh, because I give lots of space between the problems for you to work, and it will take all 50 minutes for you to complete uh -huh. the test. Um, but uh, your math, it's just, it takes longer to do the work, so the tests have to be shorter just by their nature. So, yeah, a lot shorter than what you're used to from Algebra 1, Algebra 2, even Geometry was longer than this. So, a shorter test is one page front and back. So, if you're watching on YouTube, no, you're not missing a page. Okay, it really is that short. <laughs> First and last name in the name spot and today's date. I get that reaction every year when I hand this one. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> All right. And today's date is August 30th, 2021. So 8 30, 21, today's date. All right. Let's take a look at the test together very quickly. Uh, numbers one through eight. Do not, use, in fact, you won't use a calculator for anything on the front page. Okay. Calculator is not used at all on the front page. What I would recommend for one through eight, in fact, I would almost require, is that you draw three triangles in that white space. I would draw three triangles in that white space next to 1 through 8. Uh, for numbers 9 through 12, again, you're not going to use your calculator for any of that. Uh, be sure to show all of your work. Um, if you need to you work on a separate sheet of paper, that separate paper is there for you as needed. All right, flipping over on the back side, you will use your calculator for everything on the back. So front side, no calculator. Back side, you must use a calculator. Um, notice the instructions for 13 through 16. Um, round trig ratios to three decimal places. That's exactly what we've been doing this whole time. Round angles to the nearest tenth, which is exactly what we've been doing. Okay, so the way we've been doing it in class is the way I want it done here. For number 17 and 18, I highly recommend you draw pictures. Okay, these are right triangles. Each right triangle is going to be named ABC, and we're going to assume that angle C is the right angle. So based on that given information, draw the picture, mark up the picture, Again, you may need to show your work on separate paper. There may not be quite enough room for you to do everything you want to unless you write really small. Okay? I'm able to do it on this paper, but I do write small. Um, and then applying right triangles, you have one problem there. Um, I've given you the diagram already just so you find exactly what's being asked. Okay? So uh, you're finding there uh, just distance to the shore, so just the area marked with the question mark. All right. Before we get started, make sure you use that white paper as a cover sheet. Again, you may also use it for a work page as you go. Take your time. Don't rush. Because if you've done the math with only 19 questions, now again, some of the questions have multiple answers, but they're an average of three to four points each. So you can only miss a couple before you're dropping a letter grade. You don't want to miss even a couple, okay? Take your time. Work carefully. Work accurately. Double check when you're finished. All right, you may begin. 